Alright, so I'm just cutting in here to let you guys know what you need to do in this video because I know a lot of people don't really have the time to watch through the end of the video and I can totally respect that because sometimes even I don't really have the wa time to watch through the end of my video. So yeah, I'm just cutting in here to let you guys know what you really need to do even before the video starts. So what I need to, you to do is go down to the comment section, comment anything you like because obviously you're going to watch through the video if you have time. Comment whatever you want, but alongside that, if you know anything about redstone, just put a redstone contraption down, be, the, be that be stupid, ridiculous, ridiculous, complicated, not complicated, easy, all that good stuff, any type of redstone contraption, just leave it down there because, yeah, that might or might not be done because, um, yeah, you know, something like that. I'm going to explain that more towards the end of the video, but um, yeah, that is something that you need to do. And um, there's going to be more people who don't comment that than they do, so there's a highly likely chance that yours one is going to be premiered in the video. So, go to the comment section, comment anything you like, and with all of that being said, enjoy the video. Hello everybody, my name is Red Blocks, and welcome back to another episode of Rested with Red and the test. Now I mentioned this towards the final bit of the teacher section of the series, but basically what I said was, after we are done with all the mechanics and I've given you guys the tips that I want to give you, after that we're going to be going into a test, where basically I'm just going to test all of you guys' knowledge of the series, of basically the things that I've taught you, and if you have remembered every single thing. Now, if you guys are thinking like, whoa, 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 you're going to take a test and you didn't even remind us? That is just crazy. Now, if you're thinking something like that, don't worry. The questions that I picked out are actually not hard. They're more on the side of, like, if you remember all of these, you pretty much have achieved the goal of the series to know all the basic elements of redstone and then converting them into your own redstone contraction. So basically, they're on the easier side, but they are definitely also more on the important side. So, I have myself four redstone problems in front of me. Obviously, you guys can't see it because I obviously have it written down, but I have them. And basically, how this test is going to work is, first of all, I'm going to present you guys a problem. Then, I'm going to tell you guys how I want it to be done. And then, basically, I'm going to cut away to let you guys finish the restaurant contraption for yourselves. After that, um, I'm going to be coming back in, and then you guys can match your restaurant contraption with mine. Now, obviously, there's a million ways to do a restaurant contraption, and obviously, I cannot monitor all of you guys' ones. But, um, after seeing the way I can I do it, it's probably not going to be the, the most efficient way to do it. But, if your one works, and it's not a million blocks long, it is probably the way to go. And, if you feel comfortable doing it that way, that's the way that you should do. Now, to, uh, if you guys want to uh, participate in this test, the only thing that you need, thing that you need to know is first of all, watch the, watch the video, and second of all, you need to have a version of pretty much any type of uh, Minecraft. Like I'm pretty sure, like the things that I at, at least wrote out, apart from probably one or two, all of them applied to even Java edition. So uh, if you have any type of Minecraft, just load it up and do the things th along with you. And yeah, it should be pretty fun. And now I do have to mention this, uh, the elephant in the room, that this video is slightly inspired by Mumbo Jumbo. Like he did something like this, I believe like two years ago or something like that, where basically he just did um, basically something like this. But his one was based on like um, basically just a restaurant quiz if you know restaurant. But this one is just a test to wrap everything off of the series and test your ab abilities of remember stuff and understanding all the things about redstone. So, without further ado, there are, as always, there's going to be a series playlist down in the description. Go ahead and check it out if you have missed any type of episodes or you just want to catch up on our beautiful journey of here because this journey that we've been on mm. has truly been glorious and I'm, I'm probably going to rant on that uh, towards the end of the video, but um, yeah, this this... This series has just been fun uh, on both sides from recording and seeing you guys enjoy it. So it's been a really good ride and I highly inspire all of you guys to check it out if you still haven't. And obviously there's going to be the timestamp down in the description if you guys want to check out any specific question if you guys want to do that. But with all of that being said, now let's get into problem one. Alright, so just before we get started, if you guys couldn't get the gist of it, yes, this video is indeed going to be going in a progressive skill. So basically meaning that we're going to be starting ourselves off with the most easiest one over here. So basically this one over here, we, this is the most easiest one. I don't really think there can be anything more easier. And then we're going to be riding ourselves off to the most hardest one. Now, just keep this in mind. I'm not the greatest question designer that ever has been. And if, the, if some of them feel a lot more easier than the previous one, yeah, just don't question about it, okay? Because you're getting an easy, easy question. But um, yeah, if that is the case, I'm really, really sorry. I tried my best. 
But with all of that out of the way, now let's get ourselves into the first problem, which you guys also saw in the intro because I actually had already made this and didn't w really want to make remake it. So yeah, you guys also got a sneak peek of it, but uh, you did didn't get the question. So here we go. So as you guys see over here, we first of all we have ourselves three blocks off the ground by one block. As you guys can see, three blocks horizontally placed. Uh, above the ground uh, with a one block gap in the middle and then we have ourselves two levers placed on two both sides of those three blocks just like that and that and then we have ourselves a one block gap in the middle and then we have ourselves a redstone lamp now the thing that i want you to do is when i flip both of these levers on so basically that and that that will go into this redstone lamp and this redstone lamp needs to flash so um basically something like that so basically something like that needs to happen when both of these levers are turned on not like um yeah this if this is the case this won't work and if this is the case obviously this won't work we need that and that and then this to turn on and turn off really really quite quick yeah that's Sorry for that weird cut. I was um, aiming for the F5 button, but um, yeah, I just uh, reached over to my uh, stop recording key. Anyways, a as I was saying, yeah, this is the most easiest one. So I'm pretty sure that you guys are going to get this uh, like pretty much first try. So let's go ahead, pause the video right now. Um, I'm also going to be doing a cut. So pause right now and then go in your world, place this uh, criteria out and try your best to build it out. As I've said, try your best. Um, this is going to be the most easiest one. I'm pretty sure all of you guys can do it first try. So yeah, go at it. And then I'm going to be showing you guys the way I'm going to do it. And uh, if you guys couldn't find it out the right way. So yeah, go ahead, try your best. And I'll catch you guys after you're done. So just before I show you guys the answer, the red boundary that you guys saw uh, when I was presenting the answer, that is not the boundary that you need to be in when you're design the, designing the thing. So uh, yeah, if that comes into any kind of help, stop the video right now and go rebuild the thing. It, like I don't uh, like I'm pretty sure like you can't build the whole thing uh, like in a one one wide section. So yeah, if that was your problem, just go back and just build the whole thing as much as you need space. Now, with all that being said, now let's show you guys the, pretty, the really easy answer as to how this thing is going to work. As you guys see, this is a really quite a simple situation. So the thing that we want to do is have both of these turned on. So only then we were going to get an answer. So as you guys can see, both of them are turned on. And as soon as I did that, this flashed. Now, the reason why that happened is because we have ourselves an AND gate. Now, the AND gate, basically what it does is basically means that we need to have both this and this one turned on to get ourselves a redstone output and when we do get ourselves a redstone output that goes into an observer going into a redstone lamp which obviously if you guys can remember from an observer video observers basically convert a, any type of redstone uh, or basically a block update into a basically a pulse as you can see over here now the one downside to this thing is uh, like if you de repower one of them it does fire again but I mean, I never said that you couldn't do that. So I guess, yeah, you have yourselves a freedom of that. But as you guys can see, if I turn that one on, nothing happens. And when I do this, it turns on. Yeah, pretty simple stuff. Now let's move on to the second one. All right, so time for question number two. And I can already feel this getting a lot more complicated than the previous one. But I mean, yeah, I already told you that. And just keep in mind, even if how bad this sound just keep in mind, they're all really easy, and you just need to get a good uh, ear out to listen to each and every detail. So I think we don't need to waste any more time. Let's get into it. So as you guys can see over here, we have ourselves the layouts for a 2x2 two two piston door. That's really quite easy. There's pretty much no twist to it, so let's build a 2x2 two two piston door up. But after that, we have ourselves the real twists. So as you can see over here, after the 2x2 two two piston door, we have ourselves a little bit of a corridor, right? So this corridor is exactly two blocks tall, which it really doesn't matter. The height really does not matter. The things that matter are this. So we have ourselves a two wide by four long, uh, what do you call it, walkway over here. And the thing that I want you to do is after I open up the 2x2 two two piston door, let's say I'm a person, right? So I open this up, this opens up, I walk through, but just after that, a real life second after that, I want all of this four blocks to be retracted away and I want to fall into lava. 
So uh, basically, that's all the things that you need to do. First of all, build up a 2x2 piston door, and then connect that up to a little bit of a trap. So basically, connect that up to some pistons or something like that, and basically retract away all this stuff. I'm not going to be giving any more hints, um, but um, yeah, just to give you guys another bit of a explanation as to how what the dimensions are for this corridor. It is 2 high, 4, four long, and 2 wide. Basically, all that, and now go and go ahead building. Basically, all right. So hopefully you're done with building. Now, first of all, let's show you guys how, uh, from a POV standard, it will look if I was the person getting trapped. So first of all, let's open this up, and if I walk through, as you can see, I fall through the void. Basically, the thing I explained. And yeah, um, it's basically some easy, easy redstone. And as you guys can see, I'm just gonna do it one more time. Boom! And yeah, I fall through. Now I am indeed uh, walking, and if I was sprint jumping, it probably wouldn't work. But I mean, hey, I I didn't really specify how much uh, you know the person was gonna be running or sprinting at. I just said that it has to be four blocks. And there you go, it is indeed four blocks. Now, to show you guys how the rest of it works, it is really quite simple. Uh, it, like, it's probably it's pr kind of simpler than the previous one, but there is some head scratching involved, so I guess, yeah, it definitely falls under a little bit more complexity. So, as you guys can see, when I uh, flip this lever, it obviously goes into the 2x2 piston door. And this is all that there is to this 2x2 piston door. It is one wide, so that's pretty cool. But that connects up to this this delay over here. Now this delay is exactly 10 ticks or 1 in real life second. So yeah, keep that in mind, 10 ticks equal to 1 real life second and you guys can also time that if you want to. After that, that goes basically into these pistons which extend when you power them but they retract after 10 ticks. So yeah, that's basically every single thing I want and that is the way I've done it. So it's really quite simple. And just take a look at it. And now let's move on to problem number three. All right, next up we have ourselves something which is not entirely complex, but this was indeed towards the end of the series, and I thought that you know what, I might just uh, well just sprinkle this in, and hey, it has some type of complexity, so it I think it would feel better here. So as you can see over here, we have ourselves a three by three piston door. Now the only reason I haven't placed down the pistons is because. I'm giving you the freedom of choosing between either the classic 3x3 piston door or my design of the 3x3 piston door or any other type of piston, uh, piston door which does not include the skipping the block in the middle. Like you have to have a solid 3x3 piston door. So basically uh, something like this, not something like this. Also, just to add a little bit of complexity, we are, you are going to need to power that using a button. So basically, when I press this button, the piston door is going to be extended forever. And when I re uh, power this button again, it's going to be closed off forever. Now, if you're familiar with buttons, that is usually not the case. So yeah, have fun with dealing with that. But um, yeah, that's going to be the entire thing. And you need to color code the piston door. So basically, I, I want to see at least three different types of color coding. So basically, uh, you could go for any type of color. Um, I'm gonna probably pick the top of the rainbow, so red, orange, and yellow. But it's up to you what kind of color you want to use, but at least use three. That's part of the challenge, so let's sum it up. You want to be build a 3x3 piston door with no gaps in the middle, and you want to power that with a button. So when you power the button at first, it wants to be extended forever, and then we, when we power it again, it wants to be closed off forever, and you need to color code it with at least three colors. Now get on with that, and I'll see you guys after you're done. Alright, now it's answer time, and for the creator of this restaurant door, it took me an embarrassing amount of time as to how much time it took me. But um, yeah, we are final, okay, so just know this. If you're building something you already know, don't try out new things because they just might not work and take up your lot of time. So yeah, keep that in mind. Anyways, now let's move on as to how the restaurant works. So first of all, you have yourselves this thing over here, which is a T flip flop. Which in the episode I mentioned them, yeah, I said that they're not that useful. Which I guess I'm gonna bite my words and say they're sometimes useful, and in this situation, they are of of course. So here we have ourselves a button with which this T flip flop switches the signal over to a lever type of thing, which is going into this repeater. Now the reason why I'm powering this from the bottom is because if I had the restaurant dust powering into this thing. It would actually get redirected towards this thing, which would basically just make it so that it doesn't work. 
So I had to do something like this, and we are probably not gonna do this, but uh, if that's your situation as well, just know that if it's getting G-powered as this way, you can just use a repeater down at the bottom to power this thing indirectly. Now then we have ourselves this red line connecting all the above pistons up, so as you can see, this is connecting all of this, this part up by using this red line, goes into this yellow line, which goes into the orange line, which is the double piston extender for our two saline blocks, which are connected into our bottom two blocks. So I, as you can tell, I went for the my design, if you will. Uh, you guys can, of course, go for the classic piston door, and the only thing that would matter is if it works or not. Also, Okay, I know that this has been prominent throughout the complete thing, but I'm getting so much flipping ads, it's ridiculous. Like, pretty much in every clip, I believe, I got an ad, and oh my god, Chrome, can you please stop sending ads? Alright, anyway, so as you guys, <laughs> sorry, hey, like, I, I got a little bit fired up because it was so annoying. Alright, anyways, let's get back into it, and as, as promised, we have ourselves more than three colors. So first of all, we have ourselves the red line connecting up all the above pieces, as I said. This lime line of connecting up this T flip lock to the circuit. Then we have the yellow line, which is basically taking the signal from the, uh, I guess, above line into the two... Uh, double piston extender and then first finally we have ourselves the orange line which is the double piston extender really easy stuff i'm pretty sure all of you guys got through it but now let's go on to the finale question let's do this are you ready for the final challenge of resident with red i think you are so for the final problem of our test we have ourselves something uh, more fun than complicated it's a slight bit complicated but i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna get over it so let me explain to you guys how it is gonna be working so as you can see over here we have ourselves a combination lock which i actually showed you guys how to make it, it is kind of similar to the first one if you guys can remember that so as you guys can see we have ourselves a three lever combination lock and we need ourselves a two-way combination lock. So basically, we could have one or three, two or three, or one or three, or anything like that. I'm going to leave it to you guys to figure out what, which one you want. But when you unlock the combination, I want that go going into a repeated resonance signal going into this dispenser over here. Now, this dispenser needs to be filled up with bone meal, or at least semi-filled up with bone meal. And when you place in a tree... Like that, it needs to grow up, and when it grows up, I want you to detect that and blow it up using TNT. Now, I am not saying that you need to browse with a 10 block of TNT, or you just need to do one. Um, I'm just saying that if after the tree has gone, grown up, you can dispense one block of TNT at a minimum. That is mission accomplished. So, let me sum it, up, sum it up for you guys once again. So as you can see, uh, for the final time, we have ourselves the combination lock. Unlock, uh, unlock the combination lock, going into a repeated resonance signal, going into this dispenser. When you place a tree down in front of the dispenser, it will grow up. You want to detect that, and then you want to dispense one block of TNT. Now that, can, that could be on top of the tree, that could be away from the tree, or wherever you like. Also, this dispenser doesn't necessarily need to be here. You can place it wherever you like. But um, yeah, that is the thing. I think it sounds really fun. I mean, I would be stoked to do this. So, now, go on and do it for your own, and I'll see you guys with the final results. So, see you guys then. Okay, so if you just uh, couldn't, like, find the answer to that, I, I, I can imagine, like, how can that happen. So, I would recommend just messing around with the tree growing mechanics. So, just see how tall the trees can grow if you have a block above that. So, basically, the bare minimum a tree needs the space to grow. So, if that's your problem, pause the video right now and then just go ahead and build it. But if that's not your problem, then now let's see the final answer. As you can see, first of all, we have ourselves a combination lock. I went for the answer of 2 and 3. Now that connects up into a, what do you call it, an AND gate or a basically combination lock. Then that goes into a restroom uh, clock. This is the plastic fastest restaurant clock possible in the game this is a comparator clock going into some restaurant going into this dispenser now that goes up to a uh, observer over here with a lot of tnt in it now the reason why the observer is this high up as it is is because as i've already said uh, in the clip the trees can actually grow uh, actually i haven't mentioned it so let's see one two three four five 
The trees can grow up to on, uh, only six blocks above from the ground, so they at least need six blocks uh, of free space before they can have a block on top of it. That goes into the TNT, so basically, if that's the uh, kind of growth that happens, then that will explode the TNT. Now, here's the thing. That might not go 100% of the time because there are only two types of trees which are shorter than this. Uh, first of all, one of them can uh, go perfectly up to this uh, observer block over here, but one can go one block less. Now, if that's the situation you're in, don't worry, you have still passed the challenge. And let me just show, show to you off like how it works. So first of all, that, that goes off. And then if I place my sapling, hopefully we get ourselves a good one. No, we missed it by a block. But hey, hey, you know what? That could be could have been you, and I'm in the same position. So we are just gonna place it manually, and you can also do it. Don't think it's lame because it is how it is meant to be. So here we go with all of that. The test is now completed, and now we are done. Well, I mean that that wasn't quite as dramatic as I would think, but that is gonna be that. So, with all of that being said, that is gonna do it for the test. But we are not gonna be in doing the outro over here because, yeah, we need some space to do the outro because this is gonna be a little bit more of a rant to outro. So, I'll see you guys at the outro. But with all of that being said, that is gonna do it for today's episode of Wrestle with Red and the series of Wrestle with Red, the tutorial extension. Because with all of that and the previous 14 videos explaining all the things of Redstone, we are now at the point where I'm pretty much completed the goal of the series. So now you guys know pretty much every single thing that has needed to be known for basic Redstone so that you guys can do the Redstone for yourself. But that also means that the series is now at a finish. And man, this series, like, it has been so good. Like, I don't think, like, I can pretty much do any better series than this because it has been so fun recording it and... Like, basically, just, it, it's been perfect because, like, from the recording, because this has been my favorite series to record, and seeing the amount of love that you guys show to this uh, episodes is just insane because all, pretty much all of my most viewed videos, apart from a few, are Restored with Red videos, and the, uh, the first Restored with Red video was the first one to reach 200 views, which I actually forgot to mention in my previous video, but that is just bonkers, I mean... Yeah, like, it, it's been so crazy, and to think that I planned this series before even I even had a YouTube channel, like, even, I think, like, a year before I was thinking, like, okay, when I open up a channel, eventually, I'm gonna explain all the restaurant things to the people, and now, like, it's done, which, first of all, makes me happy, but at the second point, like, it's, it's kind of, like, um, also kind of emotional, because it's, like, it's, it's gone, but I guess it's going in peace, because... Man, this has been successful not only for me, but all, also for you guys. So, I really hope that all you guys enjoyed the entirety of the Wrestle with Red series. It's been my first series of the channel, and it's been the greatest. And I really hope you guys enjoyed every single bit of it, uh, and you guys learned at least something new about Redstone. But, the series is not going to be going at least completely, because this is indeed the end of me teaching you guys this part, and I'm sure... I've actually done this in the pre-intro, but I actually said that you guys should comment down in the bill, uh, in the comment section below any type of restaurant contractor that you would like to see me do. Because from now on, we're going to be doing a series where basically I'm going to look at the comments and you know, all of your suggestions, and then we're going to be applying that to a basically a video. Um, and that, well, it's kind of going to be a restaurant with red, but actually not quite really because it wouldn't have the same type of theme because I'm not teaching you guys anything, but still it is going to be a restaurant with red. But it's not still not gonna be the same because this is indeed the end of the tutorial section And now you guys are graduated. So this is grade 5 Graduations and congratulations to all of you guys for graduating the restaurant with red class now obviously there's there's pretty much no end to restaurant because obviously there's gonna be a lot of updates incoming and pretty much every update Mojang just like to just sprinkle in some restaurant bits so each and every update we are gonna be back at class teaching you guys any type of new things that you want to see but it, for the most part this is the basic fundamentals of restaurant covered in 15 videos 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and the entire series. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. And if you guys want to stick around for the new evolution of Rester with Red, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. And for the first time, go into the description, check out the series if you have missed any episodes because it has been a truly fun ride. I enjoyed making every single one of the videos and I hope you guys did too. And yeah, go check it out if you still haven't. But with all that being said, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of Rest with Red. I already did the outro <laughs> because I'm, I was always, uh, almost going to repeat it again. But um, yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode. Really hope you guys enjoyed. And that's going to also do it for the tutorial section of Rest with Red. But with all that being said, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next, uh, next episode of the new evolution. See you guys then. Goodbye.